Here I talk about the precipitation, air mass, and the lifting of air. The first part, we want to talk about the formation of precipitation and the different um, water draws in rain, snow, sleet, and freezing rain. And the first picture is picture shows the cloud formation. The cloud is very important for precipitation. Precipitation formed in the cloud when water vapor is in the atmosphere cool and condenses into bigger and bigger droplets of water. When the drops are very, are heavy enough, they fall to the earth. They fall to earth as snow. Rain, uh, freezing rain, uh, sleet, etc., depend on the temperature within the cloud and at the Earth's surface. This picture shows that this circle about uh, from the sun to supply the heat on the ground and uh, the evaporation, uh, the hot air into the the sky and the condition condensation to the cloud to form the cloud then the cloud from the uh, rain and the snow etc picture shows the winter precipitation it's a uh, have a normally have a form forms the snow, sleet, freezing rain, and rain. Snow and snow melting has occurred during the uh, drop on the ground. The sleet, the snow melt and uh, refreeze before reaching the surface. Freezing rain, the snow melt and the freezing on contact with the surface. The rain, snow melt and uh, does not freeze. Part I want to talk about the air mass and they are classified, and why Oklahoma is susceptible to tornadoes. This air mass are classified by region. It's you look at the pictures at the map in the world, but this one is uh, the rain time polar. As mass is a large body of air having nearly uniform condition of temperature and humidity at any given level of, of altitude, such a mass has distinctive boundaries and many extend hundreds or thousands of kilometers, horizontally and sometimes as high as the top of a troposphere, about 10 to 8 kilometers above the Earth's surface. An air mass from whenever the atmosphere remains in contact with a large, relatively uniform land or sea surface for a time sufficiently, sufficiently long to acquire the temperature and the moisture properties of the that surface. The Earth's major air mass orangeity in pol polar or subtropical latitude. The middle latitude constitute essentially a zone of modification, interaction and mixing of pol polar of the tropical air mass. Air mass are com commonly classified according to four basic source regions with re respected latitude. There are pole, it's cold, it's two pole, marine, maritime pole, and uh, the P is means cold, pole, polar, cold, dry. And uh, Equatorial and uh, tropatic 
and uh, Arctic, a very cool. This one, Arctic, Arctic, it's very cool. It's very uh, hot and dry. In the United States, the major air air mass tap tape tap uh typically contain and lintel polar maritime polar continental tropical and uh, maritime tropical. This picture will uh, explain uh, why American, uh, why Oklahoma is susceptible to tornado. Oklahoma provided a fertile breeding ground for tornado because of the clash between the warm, moist air from the Mexico Gulf and the cold air from the Rocky and Canada. As uh, one of the main keys to the needle formation is a large temperature spread over a sh short distance. This picture shows uh, the Oklahoma is in the tornado areas. The part three is I want to uh, talk about the left of air, lifting of air, and uh, introduce two process of lifting. This uh, for why the lifting of air important. Uh, lifting of air is important because it's a form of the form. Uh, it's form, cloud, and rain. When air rises, rises is expanded and cool diabetically. If air is left sufficiently, it's eventually cool to its due uh, point temperature. Saturation will occur and a cloud will develop. Here are four Lifting that co that cause air to rise. Uh, one is a orange graphic left. There is forced to rise over a mountain barrier. From tail region, warmer, less dense air is forced over cooler, dense air. Convergence. A pure up of a horizontal airflow result in upward movement. Localized convective lifting on uh, equal surface heating cause localized pocket of air to rise because of the buoyancy. Um, now I introduce the process of a uh, Orographic left. This left occurred when the, the air mass is forced from a low elevation to a higher elevation as the move over rising terrain. As the S mass gains altitude, it quickly cool down at the basically where it can reach the relaxing humidity to 100% and created a cloud and under the right conditions perception. Lifting by convergence. This left is that the air flow in from multiple direction and is the cloudy cloud cleat and cause air to move upward. Look this picture. It, um, it occurs when air near the surface flow together and it push upward when it is squeezed together. It's a bolt lifting of a, an entire layer of air. That skill convenient can lift a layer of air hundreds of kilometers across. Yes, that's all I introduced about uh, participation. Thank you so much for watching.